Hello, boys and girls. Hey, boys and girls. Mr. Dave, thank you for joining us again today. It's so good to be here with you today. It's always good to be in the house of God. Of the Lord. It is. So, you know what? Let's pray to God. Let's thank Him. Let's look up. You got it. Look down. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this opportunity to praise you today. We thank you that for your results, Lord God, but that's what we're here to learn today, your result, giving it all over to you. We thank you for it in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, everyone is here. We got atmosphere. We love this place. Hey, living different lives, but we all unite for. God. Talk to him. And this week, we learned that we have to listen, to, listen God. to God. And this week, we have to give it all over to God. And That's we'll right. learn a little more about that over in Callie's world. Yes, Callie has a great lesson for us today. So let's go over to Callie's, Callie's world. world. Chefs, the last few weeks were so much fun! We learned how to make a fruit salad and how to make a cake for my mom. Today, we are going to be making these yummy cupcakes. Here are the directions to make them. Directions are the steps we need to follow. The directions seem pretty easy. We follow the steps and then we get scrum delicious cupcakes. All finished! My mom just helped me put the cupcakes in the oven to bake. Hmm, so I guess we just wait now. I wonder if I should go check to see if they're baking. Maybe I should look at the directions again. I know we followed the steps. <sighs> I don't really know what to do. What do you think? Just wait. Yeah, that sounds right. The instructions do promise cupcakes if I follow the steps. And I did follow the steps. So I guess that is it. Let's check out today's Bible story in the meantime. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from Jeremiah chapter 33, verses 14 to 16. 
Do you remember our big idea so far for this series? Step one, trust God. Step two, talk to God. Step three, listen to God. Well, Jeremiah did all those things. He was another one of God's prophets. That means he followed those steps so well that he could tell the people what God was saying. And every word was true. But some of what he said was hard to believe. It just didn't make sense. For example, in today's story, Jeremiah reminded the people of a promise that God made a long, long time ago. So long that they weren't sure it would happen anymore. God chose one family, a whole family tree in fact and promised that from that family tree would come a king, a king that would be greater than all kings in the world. It didn't seem like this family had the right ingredients for the king above all kings. But one person from that family tree stood out, and it was a guy named David. He loved God very, very much, and he was very brave. So brave that when David was a boy, he defeated a giant with nothing but his sling and a stone. Imagine that. David was pretty great. God told David that someone from his family would always be the king. And Jeremiah was saying the exact same thing again. And do you know who that king is? It's Jesus. The Bible says in Jeremiah 33, to wait and watch for Jesus to come. What does that mean? We can start by following all these steps. Step one, trust God. Step two, talk to God. Step three, listen to God. And maybe the hardest step of all, step four, leave the results to God. When we live for God, we don't always know exactly how things will turn out. The Bible is our guide. There are even promises in the Bible, but we have to do our part and follow the instructions. If we follow the instructions in the Bible and do what we need to, we will all become delicious cupcakes. I mean, um, uh, we can leave the results to God. <laughs> that is so exciting, friends. We can trust God talk to God, and listen to God. But after all that, we can do step four. Leave the results to God. That's the big idea for today. Can you say that with me? Step, step four. four, leave the results to God. Leviticus. 
and girls. Today our memory verse is found in Ephesians. Ephesians 2.10. Say that with me. Ephesians 2.10. For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. Let's do it one more time. Ephesians 2, 10. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2, 10. Remember, you are God's handiwork. All right, so you know what, Brother Dave? What's Callie that? really brought it home for us yeah. because this week, what she was saying was that God prepared all the people for the Savior to come. The Savior of the world. That's leaving everything up to God. Yes, God knew that he was going to send a Savior mm. and that he would come and take care of everything. So step four, we have to leave the results to God. Step three, we had to listen, listen to, to God. God. Step four, we, we had to talk, talk to, to God. St not step four, step, step two. two. And step one, trust, trust God. God. When we take these steps, we can have a great relationship with God and with people. With people. Boys and girls, this has been awesome. We plated it up this week with Callie, and I hope you plated it up with your Thanksgiving family. I know that I did, and we're looking forward to next month when we talk about our Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, can you pray for us? I'll yes. pray. Let's look up, look down. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for the steps of this month. And we're looking forward to next month, Christmas, Lord God. So thank you as we walk, as we trust you, as we talk to you, as we listen to you, and we put all things in your hands as our Savior. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And all in agreement with that prayer said, Amen. Amen. Love you, boys and girls. See bye you bye. next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>